My household is organized by me. I'm a fire battalion chief. Oh my God. We have very traditional roles. And I believe that as a wife, I should support my husband as the head of our household. What? I call Jason my third child. I tend to yell a lot. Oh no, no, no. That is not gonna go over my house. Jack can be very impatient, so please listen to what he asked for and respond to his needs first. Who's supposed to respond to his needs first? Me? Today's topic. Um, today's topic is... <laughs> uh, I think you can see it from the screen already. So I don't think I'm, I need to mention it. But I'm going to say, I'm going to preface this by saying... Uh, I, I haven't read the chapter. So I'm going to preface my thinking before I read the chapter. Uh, be practical, yes. So, I want to put it that way. There are many ways to be practical in this life. And I think I mentioned that to some people one time. And I said, you need to, you need to, to, to study people. You know, you need to study people. You need to know what they like what they don't like, how they talk, how they, what they dress, what they do in their free times, uh, if they even have any free times. Because you don't want it to be a surprise to be with somebody and you are not compatible with. Now, in the practical sense, when I say study, I'm not saying to get a notebook and pencil and start writing things down, but you need to look at them and as you're talking to them, because here's the thing, when people, when, whenever, when, when people are talking, they are testing each other. They are testing to see if they are compatible. You may like something and they may like that same thing, or they may like something different. Now. Can they can they work together on that? Maybe, maybe not. So there is a level of practicality that you have to have, and it's not when you are dating that you need to to do these things. Or, but before, because during the dating phase, anybody can put a show and act like the best person and then once marriage comes then you say okay now let me show you my true self so the true self is already out there you just never saw it because you were too uh, focused in in the in the love spirit so you have to get to know the person and see what that person likes and doesn't like See if their beliefs align with yours. See if their lifestyle aligns with yours. See their critical thinking aligns with yours. Otherwise, it's going to be hell for you throughout your marriage life. Now, let's, let's see what the book or the chapter has to say about finding the right mate. Without further ado. practical before assuming the responsibilities involved in marriage young men and women and young women should have such an experience in practical life as will prepare them for its duties and its burdens LYL 19.1 
and I'm sure you guys could see that was section number two so yeah so what does that mean uh oh what does that mean I think that one is actually straightforward. Should I even mean, talk about that part? To have a... No, there's no need for me to talk about that part. I don't think so. I think she's going to explain the practical, the practical life in the consequent paragraphs. So, let's... But you know what? Uh, actually, no, let me say this. I'm going to assume because I've heard it. I'm gonna I'm gonna think let me let me say that I'm gonna think that it's gonna be it's gonna be about the duties of life what you should do and shouldn't do and but you know what I digress <laughs> let's let's move on let's move on since both men and women have a part in homemaking Boys as well as girls should gain a knowledge of household duties. To make a bed and put a room in order. To wash dishes to prepare a meal. To wash and repair his own clothing is a training that need not make any boy less manly. It will make him happier and more useful. LYL 19.2 Amen. So, um, I grew up in a house where, oh, my dad grew up in a house where he was cooking for a living, and uh, and actually, when I was ten years old, when I was ten years old. My dad decided to teach me how to cook, my brother and I, to teach, to teach us how to cook. And um, the thing was this, he taught us how to cook, how to wash our own clothes, because when I was growing up, there, weren't, there wasn't any washing, washing machine. Your washing machine was your hand, you know, you had to know how to make the soap into a circle, and then so you can use it. I still know how to do that because I practiced for so long. Uh, and he taught me how to, of course, make my own room clean and all that, um, wash my own clothes. I, I think my mom, no, my dad taught me how to iron my clothes. My mom was trying to tell me to teach me how to do it her own way. I'm like, no, mom, I don't like your way. Even now, she still asks me, why don't you do this? I'm like, mom, because I am the one doing it. So, I'm going to do it my way. Yeah, she tries to do that. I'm like, no. But here's the thing, though. Uh, many people were, were um, told me before, mom, you need to find yourself a good wife that knows how to cook, knows how to clean, so don't have to do any of that. I'm like, if that's the reason for me to get a wife, then I'd rather stay single. Because all of that I know how to do already. I don't need a wife to cook for me, or to clean for me, or to do my own laundry. No, I can do all of these things. Yes, I can. And every one of us in my family cook. Yes, every single one of us, we cook, we clean, we do our own laundry and all these things, we do. Now, we might be lazy, but we still do. And I can tell you, being a man doesn't mean you don't know how to do these things. I'm a man. Okay, I'm a man. And I, I know how to do all of these things. Why? Because as a man, you need to know how to take care of your own body. That's the thing. This duty that we have, that's why she said boy as girl. 
they need to learn these things. That's a training for a better life in the future. So, prepare a meal, wash and iron your own clothing, do the dishes. All of these things I learned when I was a little child. But let's move on. There are, there are very many girls. There are very many girls who have married and have families who have but little practical knowledge of the duties devolving upon a wife and a mother. Ouch. They can read, oh, 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 no. They can read and play upon an instrument of music, but they cannot cook. They cannot make good bread, which is very essential to the health of the family. They cannot cut and make garments, for they never learned how. They consider these things unessential and in their marriage life, they are as dependent upon some or on someone to do these things for them as are their own little children. LYL nineteen point three. I'm gonna put a video in this video. That's gonna be very interesting to see the difference between a mother who knows how to cook and who knows her place and a woman who does not. I mentioned in one of my videos, I'm gonna have to go back. And I think it's the one that talks about um, the courtship part, where I mentioned that feminism have taught women, uh, no, I, I said that women now think they are independent strong and dependent woman guess what here she just said this they can read and play and open an instrument but they cannot cook well think about that we will call that now education now many women many women because they have an education oh i'm a smart intelligent woman and I don't need a man. Well, guess what? In that case, that's a good thing. Because if you do get a man, you will not know how to live in a house with a man. One, and most of those women don't know how to cook, don't know how to clean, don't know how to do dishes or wash dishes. <laughs> in that video, you're gonna see two women and see which one, men, which one you would prefer. One is a feminist, basically I call it, and one is a traditional woman. Which one would you get? All right, guys. Now, we're gonna get into the video I mentioned about in the Be Practical that I was talking about right now. We're gonna look at those two wives and see which one do you think you would choose as to be your wife in a sense when it comes to being practical according to the book. Let's take a listen. Each wife has written a manual as a guide to the running of their homes. My household is organized by me. I'm a fire battalion chief. Oh my God. We have very traditional roles. And I believe that as a wife, I should support my husband as the head of our household. What? I call Jason my third child. I tend to yell a lot. Oh, no, no, no. That is not going to go over my house. Jack can be very impatient, so please listen to what he asked for and respond to his needs first. Who's supposed to 
respond to his needs first. Me? I may cook one to two times per week. <gasps> oh, no. No, I cook on a daily basis. At the beginning of this year, he started training in bodybuilding. Shut up. I would not get bodybuilder from the pictures that I see. He eats six meals daily. You will have to prepare all of his meals for the week. Oh my God. I feel that looking nice can go a long way in starting your day off right. My husband always says, an old barn can always use a fresh coat of paint. If Jason said that to me, I would look at him like he's crazy. Our children were not allowed out of their rooms unless they knock first to get permission. Whoa. I handle the majority of the chores. These children should be helping this mama out more, taking care, cleaning, chores. Misty's a doormat and she just lets her husband, Jack, do whatever. So, um, I'm gonna stop right there, actually. Now, you get the point. You tell me who you would prefer to be uh, your wife to all, the men, to all the men out there. Who would you prefer to be your wife? But now, let's go back and continue be practical, as I was mentioned earlier. So, uh, do you know that people actually eat out almost um, every day? That's sad. Because they think cooking and is, is, is something that is made for um, how the housewife? I think one time I heard a lady say, "Well, you want your wife to cook? Am I a slave or what?" I'm like, "What? This is the mentality of so-called empowered women nowadays. They don't know how to do anything that has to do with practical life." Yes. And that's sad for them. Because many of them, they are without a man. Because what a man is looking for, they don't have it. They think that men are looking for a, a, an intelligent, um, strong, independent woman. No, we're not. We don't want that. We want a woman who is feminine, who knows how to cook, how to clean, how to do these things, not because we don't do them, but because we know that we have things to do that we may not have all the time in the world to do these things. And, and we know that women like to do these things more than men do. So we look for a woman that likes to do these things. I was talking to, uh, uh, to a woman the other day, and we were having a conversation, and as we were talking, she even told me, you know what, um, I would do the, no, she, was, she said to me, she said that she would do the dishes, the cooking, the cleaning, and uh, I would do the cutting the yard and uh, meaning fixing the things around, broken things around the house and all that. I didn't tell her to do the cooking and do that. She told me. Because that's that's what women like the women like to do. They don't want to go out and cut the grass. No. They don't want to go out and fix the toilet. No. That's 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 the point. And here, she mentioned that I'm gonna stop right here because I don't make it pretty long. But <laughs> uh, okay. that's interesting. So. My name is Moby Michel. Uh, I hope to see you guys again or very soon again. Until then, Moby out.